Good day, seniors. This, uh, I know you are all bored right now because of the recent class suspension, so I decided to uh, make this video lesson. This is about the handout 1.7, which was uh, uploaded by Sir Vitalio recently. And uh, the second reason is also because I'm also bored. So let's go. So the, in the handout, the instruction there is use synthetic division to divide each polynomial P of X by the divisor D of X, so it's this, this one. Then express it as P of X equals D of X times Q of X plus R of X. Before we go into the synthetic division, do not forget that you should also be, you should also know how to, to divide using the long method of division, which will, which I will do first. So make sure that your polynomial is written in the standard form. That means that the powers or of uh, the are in decreasing order. So you see right here, it's already in standard form. 4, 3, 2, 1, and then the constant, of course. So put here x minus 2, your divisor. So in dividing, you start with dividing the first term. Here, divided by the first term, so that'll give you 2x cubed. So next, you multiply it back, so get 2x to the fourth minus 4x cubed. Then you subtract. Of course, these are the same terms. This will cancel out. Negative 7x cubed minus this one, minus negative. That will be negative 7 plus 4x cubed. That will give you negative 3x cubed. And then just copy or bring down all the terms and repeat the process again. So the first term divided by the first term, that will give you negative 3x squared. Multiply it back, so you get, get negative 3x cubed. Then multiply this to negative 2, that will give you positive 6x squared. And then you subtract again. These terms are the same. Cancels up. Also this one. So you are left with this 2. Just bring it down. So again, the first term divided by the first term. 2x divided by x, that's plus 2. Multiply. So you have here 2x minus 4. Then you subtract. These are the same terms that will cancel out, meaning you have no remainder, and this is your quotient. So now, in following this instruction, so we write P of X as uh, that. So it's simply P of X is equal to the divisor, which is X minus 2, multiply to our quotient, which is 2X cubed minus 3X squared plus 2. This R of X, remember that uh, the remainder, our remainder, is zero. So it's just zero. You don't need to write it plus zero there. Okay, right, now we go to the process of synthetic division. So let's uh, just uh, erase this part. So in, in synthetic division, again, it's very important that your polynomial is in the standard form. Just copy the coefficients. You don't need to copy your variables. So just the coefficients to have negative 7, you have positive 6, and then 2, and then the constant negative 4. And then we put a box here. You can put it here, you can put it here, you can put it anywhere you like, but it, uh, let's just do it in the left side. Okay, so, is this? Then in your, what you will put here in this box is you will just equate the divisor to 0. So you have here as x equals 2, of course, so that's what you will put here. So leave a, leave a row, a blank row here, and then the first step is to bring down to here in the third row. So your first number, bring it down. Then you multiply this number to your the number in your box, so that'll give you four, and then you add. So when you add, I'll give you negative three, and then just do the same process. Multiply this to the number in the box, you get negative six, and then you add. Then you multiply this to the number in the box, you get zero, and then you add. Multiply this to the number in the box, get 4, and then you add. Now you notice that what you, the numbers in the third row are actually the coefficient of your quotient. You have here 2, this 1, negative 3, here. Now you don't have an x there, so there's 0, and then the constant 2, 0. Also notice that the last number in your third row is actually your remainder. So there, so knowing that you're dividing a polynomial of degree 4, to a divisor of a degree 1, your quotient must have a degree of 3. So this one here, this one, will be, of course, the coefficient of x cubed. This one is the coefficient of x squared. 
then you notice you have you don't have a you have zero so you don't have an, an x and just copy the last number as the cost constant this is your quotient so this is it's that easy using the method of syndactic division but let's go to the next this is actually problem number 20 in your handout 1.7 so let's proceed, and let's just uh, divide this first using the long method of division. Because, you know, the long method of division is just as important as uh, synthetic division. You're, we will actually uh, require you to answer or to divide polynomials using both methods for practice. So you have here, that, that. So first term divided by the first term, 2x to the fourth divided by 2x, that will give you x cubed multiply it back so you have 2x cubed then minus multiply it here so you have 3x cubed and then you divide i'm sorry this is to the fourth power so when you subtract this will cancel out x cubed minus negative that will give you 4x cubed then bring all the other terms down so you have plus 5x minus 3 and then again repeat the process first term divide by the first term 4x cubed divided by 2x. So I'll give you 2x squared. Then multiply it back. So you get 4x cubed here. 2x squared times negative 3. That will give you negative 6x squared. And then you subtract. So this will cancel out. Negative 8 minus negative. That will give you uh, negative 2x squared. Bring uh, the other terms down. Negative 2x squared divided by 2. That is negative x, of course. Multiply this negative x to, to 2x. Negative 2x squared, negative x times negative 3, that will give you positive 3x, and then you subtract again. So here, 5x minus positive 3x, of course, that will be 2x, and then minus 3. 2x divided by 2x, that will give you 1. Multiply it back, so you have 2x, and then 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Of course, when you subtract, they are the same terms. They are the same, so that will cancel out. You have no remainder, zero. So this is your quotient. Now let's do the process of synthetic division here. So let's erase the solution for a long method. Okay, so I'm leaving the answer here so for comparison. Okay, so the first step is you, you copy the numbers. Make sure again that the, it's, it's in the correct standard form. So do one. Multiplication of x squared, copy that, negative 8, 5, and then negative 3, your constant. So we put a box here. So what should we put here? I said earlier, you equate this to 0. So we get here 2x is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3 over 2. Do not forget, we divide 2 to get this number. So take note of that. It will be, uh, that will be important later. So that number, 3 halves, put it there. Bring down 2, so you have 2. 2 times 3 halves, so you get here, uh, what, 3. So add 4, multiply 4 times 3 halves, you get 6. Then add, get negative 2. Multiply negative 2 times 3 halves, get negative 3. So you add, get 2. 2 times 3 halves, that will be positive 3, add 0. Remember that this will be our remainder, so meaning we have no remainder. Now, you notice something. The numbers in the third row are 2, 4, negative 2, 2, which are not the same as the coefficient of the actual quotient, which is 1, 2, negative 1, and 1. So let's go back here. Remember, I divided 2 to get this number 3 halves. So to get, you divide, you divided the divisor by 2. You should also divide your, your, uh, the quotient here by 2. So dividing this by 2, get 1. By this by 2, we get 2. By this by 2, we get negative 1. By this by 2, we get 1, which are actually the coefficients of your quotient. So you yeah. have, uh, of course, this is a fourth degree divided by the uh, degree one divisor. So your quotient is, of course, of degree three. So one is for the coefficient of x cubed. Two, coefficient of x squared. Negative one, coefficient of x. One is your constant. This is your quotient. Do not forget that we should divide also by two because we divided it by two. Right. Now, for practice, in my favorite part, of course, the best way to learn is to do it yourself. You have actually 18 more problems to answer in our handout, handout 
handout 1.7 so you have a lot of practice i suggest you do you answer each uh, when you are asked to divide you divide using both methods you divide using long method of division you divide using synthetic division now we will be having a next video for tomorrow because you know classes are still suspended tomorrow so we'll be i'll be making another video this time for your synthetic division part two your handout 1.8 today seniors peace out